Welcome back to ultrasound teaching videos with Dr. Arshida Divan. Hope you are all okay. Hope you are all enjoying your life. Hope you are studying a lot. You are, I know you're very studious people. And these days I'm uh, discussing about the gynae and lot many students and lot many medical uh, colleagues are looking for all these videos and uh, uh, they are getting information from all these videos. Today, very important topic uh, related to clinical practice that is ovarian cyst i'm not gonna uh, discuss about the differential because in the latter in the later uh, videos i will discuss about the types of the cysts but today very important point i'm gonna discuss here that is most of the time we confuse with the follicle and the cyst we put all these small follicles as a cyst and we alert the patient we confuse the patient we confuse the gynae uh, colleague we confuse uh, other colleagues they start thinking there is pathological processes while these are not pathological processes some of them are physiological processes so for example like in the ovary responsibility of the ovary is to produce the follicles and there will be multiple follicles after uh, i mean uh, puberty and they are they are passed through the different stages for example they will be developing follicle if the follicle is less than 1.5 centimeter that would be considered as a uh, developing follicle but many of the gynae colleague many of uh, uh, radiological rather i would say ultrasound colleague they put that as a cystic lesion is seen in right ovary or left ovary this is not cyst altogether this is called as developing follicle and if the size is less than ranges uh, less than 2. Point, uh, less than 3 centimeter or up to 2.9 centimeter this will be considered as a mature follicle and this will really help those who are joining or who are doing fertility clinics so be, make sure that less than 3 centimeter would be considered as a um, mature follicle so please do not write it that this is a follicular this is a cystic lesion this is a nexal cyst or this is ovarian cyst and yes if it is more than three centimeter you can frankly label it as a cystic lesion whether in right ovary or left ovary this is the common common thing and uh, many of the clinician many of the ultrasound practitioner ultrasound clinician they do this big mistake there are although some reason because if you come across these things and you're not clarifying that thing the people and the patients and the colleagues will start objecting so uh, it is better to use a appropriate words the proper terminology to explain all that so this video is going to explain you uh, how we can categorize all these cysts this is the normal what is the normal and what is the pathological process so let's start watching this video Ovaries are reproductive organ and its function are to develop the follicle, mature the follicle and sometimes uh, you may come across different cysts. But as far as the radiological appearance and writing the report is concerned, uh, many clinicians get confused uh, with the ovarian cyst and they cannot comprehend whether it is developing follicles or these are considered to be mature follicle or these are follicular cysts. So to write the accurate report and use the accurate wording and definition, I think this slide will definitely help you. Developing follicle if the size of the follicle is ranging from 0 to 1.4 centimeter it would be called as developing follicles many a time some clinician marked it as a cyst as well it is not a cyst it is actually developing follicle and when this follicle gets mature then its size become 1.5 to 2.9 centimeter so less than 3 centimeter would be considered as a mature follicle and if the size increase more than 3 cm, it would be considered as follicular cyst and it would be in a category of cystic lesion. So therefore, uh, I would suggest here do not confuse clinician, do not confuse gynecologist by straight away mentioning uh, or labeling the follicle as a cyst. You must know about that 
what size is for the developing follicle, what size would be considered as a mature follicle and at what stage you will call it as a follicular cyst. So far the follicular cyst is concerned it actually regressed with the second menstrual cycle. So therefore it is important to rescan the patient within the period of four to six weeks and if it still persists or its size is getting bigger or enlarged then the gynae referral would be recommended. But before that if the cyst remain within the size of three centimeter or slightly enlarged it usually regress with the passage of time. So always mention that it is developing follicle or it is mature follicle or it is follicular cyst on your ultrasound report. Uh, this slide beautifully explains the developing follicle. This is the right over here. Here you can see three developing follicles and uh, their sizes are less than 1.4 cm. They may vary from 0 0.2, 0 0.5 until 1.2, 1.3 uh, centimeter, but it will not be exceeding, uh, it will not exceed more than 1.4 centimeter. So this is the example of developing follicles. If you come across all these follicles within the ovary, please do not write that these are cysts. These are developing follicles. Measure their size explain that the ovarian volume is whatever the volume is give the volume and then mention that multiple developing follicles uh, were seen in the right or left ovary the largest development developing follicle size was whatsoever the size you have seen just mention on because in this in in the ensuing weeks or ensuing month when they will look for the mature follicle, they will come to know whether this de developing follic follicle has been gone through the maturation phase or not. Example of the mature follicle is here. This slides beautifully explain the both uh, pattern. There are uh, multiple follicles uh, which are developing follicles and one of them is mature follicle. This is the classical example. So please do not confuse yourself with writing this mature follicle as a cyst. This size is less than 3 cm. Mature follicle should have been between 1.5 cm to less than 3 cm and sometime you can also see within the follicle, within the mature follicle they will be small over but here we cannot uh, distinguish on the basis of the ultrasound sometime if you have a very good quality equipment so you can still appreciate that but in short this ovary shows multiple developing follicles and the largest mature follicle measuring whatever the measurement uh, you appreciated must mention on the report so this will help the gynae uh, peoples or the, those uh, the colleagues who are working in the infertility clinics so the patient will be benefited with this uh, report because you have already mentioned that the mature follicle is there so in terms of uh, evolution they will come to know when the evolution will take place and they will accordingly manage the patient so this is the slide which indicating developing follicle and a mature follicle on this image you can appreciate frankly cyst this cyst size is 3.3 into 3.5 centimeter so literally this is simple cyst so this you can confidently mention on your report that the right or the left ovary shows simple cyst measuring 3.5 or whatever the measurement is give the measurement and beside this mention that the follow-up scan is advised within six to eight weeks so because within six to eight weeks this is likely that this will disappear or sometime it will regress so therefore it is important to have the follow-up scan and after follow-up scan if the condition or if the cyst is still persist refer them towards the gynae unit so they will accordingly manage the case so this is the example of cyst so hope you will not uh, get confused in uh, developing follicle in mature follicle and the cystic lesion